Hey everybody and welcome back to Planet Base. Today we are continuing on trying to get our base defended from asteroids. We got the telescope up last episode and this episode we're going to work on the laser. Now that's going to be a little bit harder to build because it requires a few things that we don't have yet besides just building the laser. Uh, first things first, now that we have a little bit of metal to spare and things are working a little bit better, we're going to take the production off priority and we're going to go and build another room and this one is going to be the factory. The factory takes our basic goods like the plastic and the metal and converts them into other things such as spares which are going to eventually need some more of anyway because I see we're down to six now. And the semiconductors which I think is what they're called. Um, and we'll see in just a moment. We're going to get this room built. Now eventually we're going to have to build another airlock on the left side of the base because we're going to be expanding this way and every time we have to build a new room I don't want them to have to go all the way over to the right side of the base here. Go out the airlock, come all the way back over here, build the room and then go back just to get back inside. So it's going to be a lot more efficient if we can just get another airlock on this side. I'm going to wait until we build over a little bit more into a cubby hole because the airlock is one of those buildings where you can only have it, it only has one connection. So anyway, as soon as this gets built, we can kind of see what the next things we need to build are. Now, the mine should be working. Well, no, the workers are carrying supplies. That's okay. No one's hurt, that's a good thing. But no one is currently manning our telescope, so that's a little bit worrying. We have people way outside of the, of the airlock here, and I would hate for a sandstorm to hit us. There he goes. Power usage is still fine. Um, we just barely emptied the medium power collector here. And then it's going to start charging up again as soon as this solar panel turns and faces the sun. And... Oh. Boom. There we are. We are actually drawing a lot though. Um, I think it is time to build another power collection device. Or no, a power generating device. Oh well, no, now it's okay. We have the wind turbine and the solar panel going at the same time. You know what? I think we're going to build another one. Another solar panel. And it's going to be a large one. No, seven, seven metal. Whoa! They are getting way too close for comfort. We're going to build another medium one. It only takes four. Let's go ahead and link that up, get those built. Now I don't have enough metal to do that right away. It's going to take a little bit for them to just, uh, make that many resources. This trader has nothing I want and I have nothing I want to sell, so you can leave. Now, in our new building here, in our factory, we're going to edit the room and we can make a spares workshop, a semiconductor foundry, that's what I was speaking about earlier, and an arms workshop. We can make guns. Guns are good in the later game to use, but in the beginning, they do take a lot of resources, but they do sell for quite a bit. But I'm not that far yet. We do need a spares workshop because we're down to six, and we're gonna need a semiconductor foundry because I'm almost positive that the laser's gonna require that. Actually, now that we have the telescope built, I could probably check that. Yep. Five metal, two plastic, and two semiconductors. So we're gonna need both of those built, and we're gonna need more metal and more plastics. We're doing okay on plastics. We've got 10 in storage and five starch in storage. So that's okay, we just need the metal. Now I hate having to manually priority or prioritize the mine and then the production building, but it just seems like they're not getting it done on their own devices, so until I get some more workers, that's just what we're going to have to do. I 
keep hearing these meteors and it's making me a little bit nervous. All right, so the semiconductor foundry is built, but it takes a plastic and a metal. And then the spares, I believe, takes one metal and turns it into two spares, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're one worker down, but our doctor's about to, about to fix him up. And we're also down to seven med kits, so it may be time to build a lab after we get these other two buildings done. Or no, the other building rather. And the spare's up and running. And in order to make the lab work, I'm gonna need medical plants, which is gonna need another biodome. Because I don't think I want to go down to three food plants and one medicine plant in this building. That's one thing I don't like doing is deleting food plants. Because we're, we're not really overabundant in food at the moment. We actually may be going even down on it. Now, what does this trader have? Uh, credits, beer, meals, no. No, I'm okay. Now back to looking at this. Uh, I want to look at vegetables and meals. It's up and down, really. It doesn't look dire yet. It did dip pretty close to zero down here, but it may just be because everybody was hungry at one time. All right, the spare workshop is up. All right, it takes a plastic and a metal and makes two spares, and this takes a plastic and a metal and take and makes one semiconductor. These two machines require engineers to work, and we only have two. So we may need to look into bringing in some more people, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to get this power situation done, but it's waiting on three more metal. But we have the ore, so now that we have five ore, I'm gonna go ahead and put the production building on priority and turn this one off. Oh, darn it, another worker is injured. So we're eating through our medical kits, and it seems like they get hurt a little bit more often when it's on priority. I don't know if it makes them like work harder or something, and they're just a higher chance they're gonna get injured. I'm not sure, but I can't afford too many more people to get hurt before I make this lab and make another biodome to get some medicine plants growing. Let's see. Let's see about doing that, actually. If I make a large biodome, or a medium one, it takes five metal and five plastic. It's a little high for what we have right now. You know what? We're just gonna have to survive with another small one for right now. Until we get some more people in, which don't get me wrong, having the extra food is going to facilitate that. And I don't think these are being worked yet at all just because of the metal shortage. Which means we can't build the laser. And this game is one huge domino effect. You can't do something because of something else which is tied up waiting for something else and then a fourth thing. But it is really fun though, I do give it that. Another trader, I'm guessing you don't have anything I want. No, not really. A patent for GM onions. Genetically modified onion, no. It'd be nice to have, but it's too expensive. And the thing with those genetically modified crops, they produce an extra resource every cycle. So you see the mushroom pad produces three vegetables, a genetically modified um, crop that only produces vegetables would make four. So it's a little bit more efficient. Now that we have this up, I'm going to go ahead and start producing our medical plants. We only had one extra botanist come in, so I don't want to overload them. So I think I'll just leave it at the medical plants for now and just see how they can handle it. And if it looks like they're doing fine, I may add more food down here. 
All right, we got our solar panel up, but the connection is still waiting on a metal. And that's being processed right now. I'm going to take this off priority so we can get some more people back in the mines because we're out of metal or I'm out of ore now. All right, and also we need a lab. Now, is a lab one of those things that can only have one connection? It is not. So we can build that snaking off down here. It can be a small lab, that's fine. It only takes one metal and one plastic. Fine with me. We can also start growing meat in there if our engineers don't have too much to do. got to get that laser up. Now it looks like we had engineers just standing around, or botanists standing around a minute ago. So I think they can handle another crop. So we're going to add in, let's see, we're not low on starch. We're not really low on vegetables though. So actually, to leave it how it is for now. I don't want to overload our storage supply. Jeez. We gotta get this laser up. So how would I prioritize that? This room? I just don't have the materials to do it yet. And I need the materials to go to this lab because what, two more people got hurt? I'm down to four medical packs. Yeah, we gotta get this lab up and running. We're waiting on one more metal to do that. Actually, can I buy it from you? You'll sell me the ore, but I have the ore. And I don't really have anything extra I wanna give you. Oh, and spares are really low too. All right, let's see. Two spares is not good. I am going to go ahead and prioritize this so they'll get the spares going. But they really just don't have... We're going to have to hold off on building things now. Night's almost over, right? Yeah, night is almost over. We do want to build a lab. That only takes a plastic, good, it doesn't take a metal. I have plenty of plastic. So this needs to get done. So this metal should hopefully go in to making spares or making semiconductors. Right now, spares preferably. Now, I don't know if I checked it earlier, but we do want to set some limits on manufacturing things. I didn't. Um, so this is so you can tell your colonists how many of the maximum amount of things you want to make. So medical supplies, I want to make those infinitely if I have the plants, make, this, make the medical supplies. Spares, um, I only want to keep maybe, um, maybe 10 on hand. Semiconductors, same thing, maybe five on hand. Guns, I only want five on hand. And for now, bots can be at, I don't know, 20 or so? Sure, 20. So this is so they don't just keep eating up your resources, making things that you don't necessarily need right now. When those metal or plastics could be used somewhere else. Good, we already got harvested some medical supply, or medical plants, so he's making some supplies with it. Good, good, good. Now this is waiting on supplies. Semiconductors are being worked. I really wish you would have put the metal in the spares workshop. Can I power? Can I power down just this? Okay, you put one in there, that's fine. That'll work. Now the biologists seem to have everything under control. You know what, we'll put another slow-growing plant in here. Oh, no. Um, 
maybe another starchy one. What do I already have over here? I have rice and I have wheat. What do you have? Colossal panel. I kind of want that, but again, nothing to trade you. Go away. So we have wheat and rice. So I want a slow growing one. No. So maybe maize. That would be good. That reduces starch as well. Since we have the abundance of starch, we can go ahead and add a second bioplastics in there. It will take a steel to make it, a metal, but it'll be okay. Alright, we have a sandstorm. Go ahead and start our alarm. Yellow alert, bring everybody inside. This will uh, power our wind turbine here. Everybody's safely inside, good. You're working on making some spares. Good, we need it because we're down to one. And you're making some medicine, good. How are we doing on water? I haven't checked that in a while. Sandstorm's over, so let's turn our alarm off. Water is holding fine. Good to know. All right, everybody. Thank you for stopping by today's episode. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I know I did. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one.